they can keep looking for me, but they ain't ever gonna catch me and they ain't ever gonna get me. Available now, wanted, Oklahoma Wild Man Church, PuddlesFabShop.com. But hold on folks, if you're on the run or maybe you're just dealing with a little cold and you need to stay warm. Well, if that's the case, then right now, available, we got these little hooded sweatshirts, AKA a hoodie, a little pocket on the front. Put your little digits down in there, keep them warm. Warm, not warm. The mirrors are getting cold. Whip that hood up. She's good, baby. Keep you nice and toasty. And if you don't like them hoods or them little hand pockets and you're just old fashioned and want that old just sweatshirt, crew neck, whatever you want to call it, well, we got them too. This is probably our last run of these until uh, uh, next year when it starts getting cold again. We got very limited quantities. Once they're gone, they're gone. Tonight, I'll probably use this one to start me a campfire, and that other one, I'll probably curl it up, use it as a little pillow or something. El Camina, why do you look so good? Just because you do. All right, guys, we are back with, uh, well, this one's been a long time coming. Uh, we've talked about the tractor down back at Dad's. We've talked about old Roy down back at Dad's. And long story short, the the uh, tweakers, whatever you want to call them, the not so nice people who think they need to go over to my dad's old property and pick everything off of it, just steal everything, they're hitting it hard. So I told them, I said, we need to get that John Deere from down there. We need to get old Roy from down there before parts start missing off of it. And uh, long story short, I got a hold of him, told him, hey, I think about going down there today and doing this wheel it run. And he said, well, I'm off that day from work, come to find out. So he said he could join us, which is perfect. We get some pudding pops back on the channel. Uh, now, I'm off to a solid start. I was supposed to be headed out there about right now, which we're ready to do, except he told me we needed hydraulic oil. And I'm pretty sure I went yesterday and purchased the wrong hydraulic oil. I called him, he told me one, this, that. He knew what type it was, but we didn't know which one that translated to at the at the tractor supply or farming supply place I was at. So I grabbed one on a whim and I think I did it wrong. So now I get to go back again and uh, get us swapped out in the stuff we need. Now, not too long ago, we were out at the salvage. Actually last Friday, today's Monday or saturday we were anyways my tools are still packed that's what i'm getting at so i grabbed a couple more things i grabbed us some wiring stuff because uh I, I robbed the coil off this tractor at one point doing a wheel it run down there i do know that and uh i don't know the condition of our wiring i also grabbed our bore scope since we're doing a wheel it run we may be pulling some plugs and looking in there don't nope. worry guys i found her we got what we need the old harvest king my not so smart self grabbed the stuff right next to it yesterday just so i could come back again back it on it now back it on it i didn't get cut near enough made it out here to dad's going down back is not a smooth ride uh so i do have the trailer on just in case see how far we get today um i'd like to get old roy pulled up out there with the tractor if we get the tractor going if we do do that we'll need the trailer to bring it home but for now, I don't want to take the trailer down there if I don't have to. Told y'all they've been they've been stealing down there. We leave the trailer up here, we go down there and we come back and my trailer's gone. <laughs> they they hit us with the switcheroo. Oh, I just spit a little bit. I'm sorry, that was a bit rude of me. Comes old Putum Pipes. He's got his knee on, green, yellow, and orange on. Standing out like a old traffic road cone over there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, make it down there. Yeah. It better make it down there. Uh, there ain't no Torola. Oh, well, she ain't no Torola. But if we get stuck in this, we're in bad shape. Am I riding the booster seat? Yeah, you need that just for extra safety. If you had told me you are going to get stuff, I would have helped you. Got to keep the old man young. Yeah, today, surprise, stepbrother's coming with. This is William Internet. Yeah. Now, William Internet, Internet William. This is our rig up from the Minneapolis Moline, right? Yeah. Same adapter? Yep. Same propane tank? Uh, yeah. That, that's where my missing pro, yeah, propane you, yeah. tank's been, huh? That's why I had to go buy another one the other day. Have you seen the cores on those lately? Woo! Woo-hoo-hoo! Yeah. They're proud of the propane. Your turn, old man. Get that gate. 
<laughs> just like when we were kids payback hurry up we ain't got all day i was i was deer hunting how many times y'all think you've opened that gate in your lifetime enough that it's dragging the ground the way it is <laughs> as i told william i said a little payback time get that gate holy shit there's a tree in it. is that what you just said yeah that's the difference between this trek and the tow roller if we were in the tow roller we'd blast right over it since we're in this truck i'm gonna have to drag it out of there oh because we ain't gonna scratch up cut up well no we ain't gonna scratch up the paint on this one i'm trying to keep decent resale here oh it's a little soft did you bring a chainsaw in your pocket if i take long enough to put my gloves on he'll take care of all this for us <laughs> Whew. a workout drug that big chunk way up in there hopefully it keeps it from coming down to see us again I guess since we're here we'll kick that out she'll just roll right where she needs to go it's a perfect hole for that rock there's our cable television right there just playing don't know what that is yep ground soft right. she's soft they pop up the pop up yep they have. <laughs> Maybe there's one sleeping in there right now. You ever think we'll find one coming down here? I don't know. I they'll, they'll hear us and they'll run off. Or how are we going to get close to this? You we better, ain't. You better go on the other way. We the ain't other, going to get close. The other side over there. Back it up now, y'all. They're good tires. They just ain't got no... Uh, Let me go forward and make sure they didn't drag a gate out or something. He backed me right into a tree, y'all. Oh, brought some extra clothes in case I get cold. I need to put an extra layer on, apparently. What do we run over? Well, if there's a nail in it, we don't want to know by pulling forward, do we? <laughs> Let's see if we got a hole in our tire from a 2 by 4 Right up for you. <clears throat> oh, that's because I, I meant to back up right there, yeah, Dad. Yeah. That's perfect skills. Yeah, perfect. You, got, hang, you, got, you got hydraulic fluid right there from the old uh, boat, boat warner shed. They stole that toolbox? Yeah oh my goodness so we we've been telling y'all that they're picking apart this place i didn't even know this he had a crotch rocket stored down here that they stole the whole crotch rocket so motorcycles full toolboxes uh everything nothing safe down here which is why i wanted to get that's why i want to come up for the least most valuable thing down here <laughs> okay, now that all the expensive stuff's gone let's go get the cheap stuff before they get it uh, so here's a tractor we're after today. You're gonna have to tell them what it is, Dad, because I know it's a John Deere, but that's about it. It's a John Deere 1967-4010 on propane. Propane and propane accessories. Yeah. So you got a loader on the front, or a she, left she's loader. She's about a, a right around 85, 90 horsepower tractor, probably. The loader itself has a set of forks for moving hay. Hey, got some hay forks on it. We moved the kernel mustard with this. Yeah, we did. We then we pick it up from the front too. So the whole cab was up in there. Right we picked it up down back and drug it all the way up the trailer to the very top. You picked it up with this thing. She, I don't remember. She's got some ump to her is what I'm she's getting a at. Good old she can She can pick up some heavy stuff. Uh, now, like I told y'all earlier, I know. Oh, I said I robbed the coil, but apparently I set it back into place because I see a coil sitting there. Give that a little karate kick. And hold on. We're going to do a little tree transplant. Coil's back on it. It's just not hooked up. So, yeah. All right. We got a coil. So, we're already a step ahead. Get more of this out of here. Obviously, we know she's going to need a battery. Uh, it is 12 volt, I do believe. All 12 volt system. Uh, so, we're not expecting too much trouble out of her. She's just been sitting down here for... Uh, good good while i like your uh fire extinguisher dad yeah that looks very professionally installed you won't believe how strong one of them are when you grab that one your baler's on fire and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and you can't get you it can't off get there it off of there you're running it's still stuck <laughs> i see her battery tray looks like she used to have a good optima yellow top good quality <laughs> really on this tractor the battery goes right there but it's missing? Well, the Bracket. tray and all that's over at Grandma's. Okay. It takes a narrow 
So where do our battery lead? Where are our battery leads at? Right here. They, they cut them. Someone cut them. That's what I was just getting at. Is where's our battery leads at? Because this one's gone. So they needed some good battery leads. <laughs> and this was the best they could afford or find. But what used to be attached to this right here. <laughs> yeah. And see this. That was. <laughs> we need to cut that because taking that off that battery was too hard. Yep. Well, we're robbed, Dad. We can see where our positive used to go. That's going to be your positive right there, which is also cut. So now, don't take the tools. Just take the battery leads. So the internet wants to know why you don't have trail cam set up and bear traps and... Why? So they steal my cameras and... <laughs> <laughs> so they steal that too? I've been, I've been in or around law enforcement for quite a few years. You can't set up traps and stuff like that. That's premeditated. So I guess the first thing we probably need to do is start scavenging some battery leads because I didn't bring any extra of those. Well, there's probably none. I was going to say, we, we may be in the dead water right yeah. from the jump. Let's see what old Roy's working with. They had the hood up on her. Our air breather's still here. I don't see no battery leads. Found some batteries. This thing can be a side post anyhow. Yep. Which I, I bought brought conversion kits. Oh, not what I I should have brought an extra at least one extra battery lead and I did not. I didn't think about it. Me neither. But I also didn't think those were gonna be cut off because the last we knew uh they were there. I ain't got some huggies. Got her. Get the old turtle opened up here. Uh, I don't know if the tweakers got it or the rat got it. Why are they taking all of these? They're they're desperate enough to need fuses, apparently. You got, you got a wrench on you? There's a there's a little bit of one we can come and get. So not the best of ground, but uh that up we may have to use it. That's probably what this log was here for from the tweakers. They had it to where they could hold the hood up. Yeah. Dang right. That works pretty good. I don't know. May not hurt to put a trail cam or two down here and see if we can get a face to it. I doubt they're down here being sneaky, hiding their face. The poor Jeep that's been picked over already. Let's see if it happens to have any. Oh, well, I see a, a ground cable. This thing did run at one point and they were nice and robbed the carburetor and been letting it get just full of rain. Uh, again, not the best, but we ain't got a lot to choose from, so we may be robbing this right here. And we may have to rob this one off our starter solenoid. Yeah, there's a couple things over here we could... They ain't the prettiest, but better than the cut ones off the tractor. I think I'm gonna uh, clear your table over here and pull it out where we got a place to put tools. I'll throw all the stuff where your toolbox used to be. Make sure you grab the steering wheel, though. Well, only problem with this table is we need that tractor to pick it up out of the ground. It's, it's in the dirt. <laughs> Found your AC compressor, Dad. Yeah. That's off a of Ford Thunderbird. 82 model. Yeah, she's a little wonky now. Got a little, uh, he said it's for transmissions. That helps it drain off better, you know, not being level. There's your hunk of chain. Grind you some good chain, Dad. He gonna put that in the truck and take it to the top of the hill with him. <sighs> I gotta catch my breath yeah. after huffing that thing around. She was planted pretty good. She's starting to grow roots. Whoa, that's what we want. It's propane tanks flying everywhere. They ain't got no propane in it. She pert near empty. Just enough to get her started and then die, probably. I set her bore scope off to the side. Yeah, uh, a little bit of wiring supplies. Thought I brought two of them. I only grabbed one. Who knows? Choose your weapons. I'm get us some tools laid out here. Oh, hey, oh, I did bring it. Oh, baby. Those things are classics. Back the amount of tricks me and William could do with those. 
doing the rolling front flips through them. <laughs> Uncle Tony made them. Uncle Tony did make those. Yeah. That's their old hula hoop. Put a little rock in it yeah. where it makes noise. I pulled a back muscle two days ago, but we got to see if we still got it. Oh. These are good because they got a little weight to them. Not like those cute plastic ones. Oh, I'm going to have to stretch them hips if I want to keep them up top. Oh, yeah. Another day or two of practice of that, and I'd be in good shape again. That's good. Unpacking tools. Don't like this sucker. We may explode. As I opened it up, I was like, man, it sure smells like curl oil in here. Yeah. The whole can's in the bottom. Uh, Apparently our lid got pressed. Not by the sweet, sweet patina TKO hand cleaning wipes. Those things are supposed to clean you up, not do you dirty. How much we got left? I don't know. She's good. She's still got some in there. That's that good stuff. Never heard of it. Did. Be best working stuff. Lubricant spray. I just never use it because it's like $20 a can. Instead, you buy the PB Blast that's like $8 a can. You only get two sprays and it breaks, you know. And you buy three of those cans and get less than that. Makes sense. Good math. All right. I don't see anything else in here I think we're going to have to have. Maybe a light. Mainly wanted to get our impact machine out of there. Oh, yeah. Hey, speaking of a lu lubricant I've never used, someone had sent out the original Rust Eater Free All. Ever used it? Never heard of it. We'll try some of it too. All right, we're gonna take some wrenches, some locking pliers, see if we can't go get us some cables. I guess off that Jeep, maybe off the Taurus, who knows. Did you bring enough coffee for everyone? Well, I mean, I can run to the house. It's just right over them trees there. Well, they were nice, Dad. They tried to put a six lug back on the five lug to keep it off the ground anyhow. Now they're just trying to, yeah. they're trying to be nice and keep it out of the dirt. They so did. when they, <laughs> when they come back yeah. to get the axles, they don't gotta dig down. They robbed the door handles. I'm just saying, keep an eye out. Off at the old Hudson Brothers off Highway 9, there's another yellow one. Oh, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna start seeing if parts start showing up on that one. A little spray on our bolt there. Uh, that goes up to our firewall. I hope you don't mind me picking a part or two off this, William. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather you have it than anyone else. <laughs> well, I ain't taking nothing that don't need replaced anyhow. But unfortunately. I don't know how long that carburetor's been missing off there, but we've got enough he heavy rains that that, that motor's full of water. Yeah. Good or what? bad? I'm trying to think of what it smelled like. It smells like paint. Yeah. It smells like some good, like 1K kind of paint. The good stuff you're not supposed to smell kind of stuff. <clears throat> so there's just a ground maybe, or maybe that'll reach up to our starter. This one's even shorter. It's yeah. a little more heavy duty, minus the corrosion. That's a, that's a Chrysler motor. There we go. And there's just more than what we got over there. Rub that, right there. Found you a good rub. Yeah. Guess the size of that deer, Dad. She about oh, he's not a big one. About a buck thirty. No. <laughs> I'm clean out underneath our, our starter here. Had a little crap accumulating. That'll be good. That way we can just rest a hole in that hydraulic line right there. Oh, is that copper? Probably. Probably. Maybe. She's a little kinky. Uh, we'll just put her, reinstall that battery tray, right? Why not? It'll work for a pinch. Yeah, well, I'd call this a pinch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're in a pinch. Just like that cable's gonna work in a pinch. Looks like we can go to right there. You wanna redo that in or just try our luck? Yeah, try it. Yeah, try our luck, I agree. And then this, we've gotta figure out where we're gonna ground to. Oh yeah, right there. So you mean to tell me you had a black positive and a red ground? Yeah, well. Were you a little bit? This tractor this. used to be <laughs> positive ground. Oh, well, that makes sense then. Yeah, it was positive ground. And then when they switched it over to 12 volt, I guess that changed it. They swapped. I don't, I don't, but I do know that this tractor, when it come out, was positive ground. All right. Well, we'll let the black and red slide then. That's why dad's here, so I can learn a thing or two. She looked about like a 5 8 Last time we were down here doing a wheel it run on a tractor, Dad, we had Mortski with us. Yes, sir. Good thing he ain't here because we're to the starter point, and if he touched this, we'd be in bad shape. Yeah, he's a pretty good hand. Who, Mortski? Yeah. He does all right if he just listens, you know. He's one of them guys who kind of knows everything, don't he? Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> There's our old lead. What's left of it. I said, I don't want to say nothing bad about him because I may want to go up there one day and go pheasant hunting. We don't have the pheasants down here like we used to. 
And then when we do, it's just about driving up to Marskies to go hunt them. So <laughs> we got to go to Kansas or out there in the flatlands out west. They see you coming then. We don't have the trained dog like he has, too. Oh, yeah? Does he got a... A Duff dog. Oh, I thought Duff was it. Well, he, he's movie star, actual hunt oh. dog. Where Mortsky's really just like movie star and then director because he has that guy Mojo do all the actual hard work. Yeah, I seen that. I was yeah. going to ask you who he was. Yeah. Well, he's, he's the guy who's been behind the scenes for Free, years. For years. <laughs> actually getting everything done. <laughs> Quick little redneck rebuild. Touch your pocket knife. I scrape the inside. Inside here, we're just gonna scrape around. When you start scraping, you get nice shiny lead again. And that's what you wanna see. Better connection. Put that on. And don't forget your couple eyelets here. It's guaranteed to go power switch and other goodies. Distributor, I'm sure. I don't know how the wiring is on this. Uh, like I said, it used to work, so other than us getting our coil wired back in, not expecting too many troubles. Even Dad said he had a key for it. Yep, yep, yep. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Swap to 9 sixteenths for our ground here real quick. Here's our old... Knocked off the corrosion flake out of there. Big old chunk fell off. Off of what? Out, out of this lead. Oh. Get that baby started there. And crank her down. Yep. Did I bring plug wires? No. Are we missing some? I seen a plug wire on the ground over here somewhere. Uh, it is not for that, but... We can rig up some crap, I reckon. Well, we're ready for a battery now, anyhow. And Dad said we're missing a, a coil wire, which we are. Now, that ain't no good. We're gonna have to make something work there as well. Uh, I was wanting to bore scope one of these so I can show y'all how clean inside this propane tractor is gonna be. And then I get to the point where I'm kind of scared because I'm like, what if we break some stuff? And we got all that debris in there. But if we pull that spark plug out of there, all that debris is going to fall down in there. We're going to try to blast it out of there with a little brake clean, see if maybe we can flush it. I'm seeing all kinds of floaters coming down the side, so it may be working. And we're going to try to flush that out with some curl oil to get it soaking good. But also try to get that brake clean out of there. Did you find the plug wire? Not yet. I'm afraid to pull this plug wire. I think we're going to break it. They're brittle. Here's how to break a plug wire. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just had to show her who's boss. Your one adapter set here has our uh, sockets for spark plugs. I don't think we're opening anything up, Dad. Uh, uh My biggest socket for a spark plug ain't big enough. We used to have a toolbox down here that had a bunch of sockets in it. Yeah. I don't guess we needed it anymore. Yep. That's a seven eight. Uh, I do believe dad's gonna walk up to his place see if he can find a 7 8 deep well When he's doing that uh, We'll pop into the distri distributor and see what's going on in there Dad asked if I wanted his pistol because he was leaving. I said no, I hope they do show up. We're going hand to hand <laughs> By golly, I'm ready. I'll whoop every hind in that wanted to come here for taking our car parts Dad said he believes this distributor is a, a it, H-E, not H-E-I, but electronic ignition. He didn't think it had points in it for some reason. He thought it had been converted at some point. So we're going to open her up and see. I mean, I would say definitely he probably knows what he's talking about, especially since we got a power wire going to it, obviously. I just want to look in here because I'm curious. Pop that up off there. Oh, what is that? We got some ants hibernating. Or are they just dead? All inside that, inside of our... Uh, a rotor and everything. Do ants hibernate? I didn't think so. They're just in here dead. That's interesting. So it ain't been cold enough in Oklahoma to hibernate. We were in t-shirts dang two days ago. So obviously we do have some type of electric uh, ignition here. Uh, I don't know how this comes off. I'm curious if we shouldn't pull that cover, but since we don't know how to get that off there, 
Nope. I was wondering if right underneath that maybe there was a, a screw or something. So we'll just put that back down how we found it. So we're just going to pretend like that's uh, good enough. We don't need to go any further than that. And I'm going to flip this over and look in there. We do have a little bit of corrosion buildup, I can see. No, I did not bring any sandpaper or scotch bright, anything good like that. But we got a screwdriver, which is kind of the same thing if you scrape it at the right angle. <sighs> yeah, nice thick white layer of corrosion on all these little tabs in here. Getting chilly enough, my nose is snotting apparently. Ooh, wonder if I could wiggle that wire wheel up in there. That would expedite this uh, process substantially. Substantially. I'm trying to use the big words. That never works out for me. I don't know why I forgot I had this. It's the right shape, too. I don't know if y'all could see that dust cloud coming out of there, but we we definitely just did her some good. <sighs> Got a rotor. Yeah, she's a little corroded as well. Don't worry about that. She's practically rebuilt at this point. Rotor goes back on. This is just going to sit one way because of that tab right there that hangs out. So we're going to clock her correctly. Just plop her right back on. We probably would have ran without cleaning that stuff up, but we definitely did not hurt it by cleaning that stuff up. Also doing that, and it kind of just verifies our uh, ignition and what's in there, even though we kind of already knew. So we got our two wires hanging there. Our red one's gonna need to go to the positive side of the coil as well. So when we give positive or 12 volts to the coil, we're getting 12 volts down here to it as well. Then of course the black wire will just go to the negative side of your coil. And we're gonna check this wire and make sure it don't just tuck up, okay. I wanted to make sure it wasn't like this, just kind of shoved up there. So we're also just gonna assume this is our 12 volts coming from our key switch that needs to go to the top side of the coil where our red wire's going as well. I told y'all I didn't think we had a coil. And uh, lo and behold, there's one right here in this clamp. Now. I swapped this out. I think we were doing the wheel it run on the Ford way back in the day, and I could not get the thing to run. It had nothing to do with the ignition system. I was just an idiot, okay? I was too green. I was greener than this tractor. Uh, so, I do not know if this is a good coil or not, uh, but we can do some rigging real quick and see if we can't test it and find out. Let's head over to our Jeep real quick, though. Uh, that thing should have had a coil on it. I don't know if there's... I don't remember if there's coil wires or not, or uh, plug wires. I didn't even pay attention. There is a coil wire. Uh, it'll make this part a lot easier. If not, we're going to have to figure out how to rig something up. Hmm. You got plug wires. If I was betting, man, I was probably going around here being the one scrounging all the coil wires. I don't know. Ain't no telling. I'm not seeing what we need. No co coil wire inside? Nope. Of course not. Hmm. <laughs> I found what was left of this old uh, plug wire. So we're going to try to do some rigging on it. I'm going to start by cutting this boot off down here. Just hope we can mash up one of these ends to kind of work. So that end, we should just be able to shove down into uh, the coil or something. It's close to fitting. Take our side cutters and we're going to collapse her down a little bit. Oh, it goes in there, but I may have collapsed her just a little bit too much. Open her up a bit. Yeah, a little better. I'm going to just kind of tune this till I find a sweet spot. Mm, we're getting there. We're going to clean out our coil there before we shove that in there for good. Uh, if you have a lot of dirt build up around that, Sometimes, and I've seen it happen with my own eyes, so I know this is true. It will, uh, it'll go to ground through all that dirt build up on your coil, so you'll be losing spark. And uh, like, if you could get it real dark where you could watch over there, you'll see that spark coming underneath the boot and go into like some dirt build up on your coil. I know it sounds crazy, and it ain't very likely that it'll happen, but I've seen it happen specifically on a '64 Impala. We did that will it run on on it down at DNH Classics. And I was losing spark there all the time. I never did get that one to run. 
I didn't have no more time to mess with it. And next thing I know, he said he sold it to California and they got it. And a day later sent him a video of it running. So that tells you how good I did. Oh yeah. That just popped down in there. Good. I'm going to cut our boot there. We're going to clean on it. Oh yeah. That brake clean just kind of broke it down a little bit. Don't worry about that. It made her a little sticky. Yeah, sticky icky. Split that baby open. Shove her down on there. Woo! Yeah. They'll say, please tell me I got a zip tie. And I do. Put this little zip tie action on here. Just cinch that baby down. And uh, that's looking pretty professional. Almost looks like we put a little gentleman's top hat on our coil. Gotta keep it classy. Here comes Big Jim and William or a deer. Or the thieving tweakers coming back down the hill. No, nope, it's Big Jim. I see the neon. You ain't gonna sneak up on nobody. <laughs> I want them to know they're about to get a half -book. Trim down two of them, and that's pretty good, guys, considering what we're working with. Now we just gotta figure out what we're gonna crimp on the other end. When you're building plug wires, ooh, made in the USA. That's why this is going good. Good, high quality. When you do plug wires, you usually cut to length. Then you got to trim, I don't know, however much. I ain't done them in a while, but we'll just say about three quarters of an inch. That's going to reveal that. You flip that sucker over backwards, then you put your end on there and you crimp it. Uh, so we just got to find something we can kind of crimp onto this to then shove in the... Dish oh, see, that's a good connection. See how that held that? Uh, shove in the distributor cap side of things. Hit the spring. <laughs> <laughs> Dad was digging through his old shop over there, the old lean-to shop. Man, what is going on there? There's a spring we could probably make work, maybe. Hmm, maybe we can trim that. Use one of our crimper thingies somehow. No, oh, we're rednecking. Yeah. That's for sure. I ought to just go cut the crimp off another spark plug wire. That would probably be the easiest thing to do. And come right over here. We already got one pulled on the old Taurus. Stripped our, our little boot down. And this one's got the wang angle dangle to it, as old Bill would say. We got her uncrimped. So I'm going to fold that back, like I said, slide that on. Then we're going to do what we can to recrimp. You know what they say, Dad? What's that? Crimping ain't easy. Mm. Kind of like pimping ain't easy. Don't you have a crimp tool? Not, not for this. Mm. Crimps crimped, right? Looks like it. It's on there. And this piece, I'm guessing we're going to cut probably right about there, and then we'll kind of bend that tango around till it catches in the distributor cap pretty good. Last Friday, we saved a truck that was John Deere Green. This week, we're working on a tractor that is, in fact, John Deere Green. All right. Go for a little mock cut. See how that feels. Oh, goes down in there and bites pretty good. I'm going to slide that boot down to right there where I know where to zip tie it. I think that's going to work, guys. What do you think? It'll work. It'll work or it won't. It'll work or it won't. Keep me from getting shocked. I ain't too worried about you. See, I'm trying to be nice here. <laughs> Put a boot on it be fancy. You gonna stick your tongue on it or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you stick your tongue on it and I'll, I'll hook some battery uh, battery to it. Quick test, we're gonna run us out some wire. Uh, your coil, one of these, uh, is gonna spark after it gets charged up and you break the ground. That's why your distributor, if you got points, it's opening, releasing that ground. Every time it releases, you, sh you should get a spark if you can release fast enough. So in theory, we should be able to uh, just hook up a 12 volt wire real quick, straight to the battery, take another black wire for our ground, and spark it on that real quick spark it arc it and see if we can get any kind of anything i guess out of that coil rig up our hot the only uh, little kicker here is i know some y'all are worried about batteries exploding i know they do put off gases but i've heard that's only happened when people have them charging of some sort i don't think if they're sitting stagnant whatever that you got to worry about it as much and the reason i tell you all that is because to get this to spark we got to go to ground and we're going to go to the ground of the battery 
I'm like, it'll be all right the first time we do it. All right, coil's hot. Dad has her held here. I'm gonna just try to flick it like that. Well, you can see it's trying because it's we're losing, we're getting our spark out of this backside instead of out of there. I think if, oh yeah, I can see it sparking between there. Y'all probably can't. Uh, the camera ain't gonna pick it up, but it is. That's good enough to let us know. Uh, there ain't no need to replace the old Genesee product. She's a HVX series made in USA. So it's probably better than the cheap one I brought from the parts house anyhow. It also kind of lets us know our, our coil wire here is trying to work. Yep. All right. Well, she's a, she's a tight fit. I guess we could loosen that clamp, but she may wiggle on down there. She's going. She's going. Just got to hold your tongue right. And right there and see where there used to be a line a little bit on that coil so we put her in there just about right next we'll see if that well it bites in there good and it sits down right to where we should have booted it take our positive off do not lose that little sucker we're gonna go red wire on the power distributor and then this baby that looks like a we wired it out in the field with what we had kind of connection there dad this uh was down in the barn at grandma's yeah and the rats got it one yeah. winter what so, you what you had in the work truck one day yeah it only needs about three four wires to run i was though. gonna say it don't need much mm -mm. that's why when you want i mean if you don't hook up all the lights and every freaking warning light and everything but well even if you want to hook up all that stuff it ain't that much to convert no. convert something from the hard part is is where you got to run through like under the floorboard and stuff like that for the back lights and mm keep everything where you can't pull it off i guess youtube and my nose is still running get them that up close and personal mm -hmm. yeah that's a pretty tight connection there yeah she's a little bit on the back side luckily that's got an eyelet hopefully it reaches someone could have indexed that coil a little better huh yeah. it'll be all right she started that's the reason i like these gloves guys these are the only gloves i can mechanic in and actually twist nuts and do what you got to do uh, while keeping a little bit of protection or warmth on your on your hands and i say a little warmth uh that's a lie wear these suckers in the summertime yeah. to protect your hand mm -hmm. you'll take them off and the sweat will you'll lose a quarter sweat per hand you check the oil on me? i have not checked the oil i'm hoping it don't have a bunch of water in it it better not <laughs> all right kind of get that tightened down should have got a socket for this one we've come too far I'll just leave that loose and it can be your problem in the future, Dad. You'd have tightened that one up and then turned that coil. You'd be working on this side. Yeah, she, she's too tight in the clamp. Mm -hmm. oh, it's pretty tight. Now that we struggled, let's uh, get the proper tool and do it right at the end. Just a little torque. Oh, yeah. Those are good. Where's the dipstick? Oh, just right dip there. Filled dipstick combo, huh? No, I did not pull it. She gonna look brand new because of the propane uh, she better i'm already liking what i'm seeing so. oh yeah that looks yeah, good look bad. no oh, i ain't even i, I did the same hand. thing but <laughs> <laughs> you don't got depth perception either do you yeah it's a little dark but i mean it's well it's not really even that dark mm -mm. Yeah, no good good oil usually i spit oil back out that one it's pretty tasty Got like a hint of oregano to it <laughs> start start putting that on your olive garden olive garden endless salads usually oil kind of got a nasty taste that one really didn't huh that pulls in there with the the spring yeah that's kind of cool i don't know if y'all can see that but it's got like a screen door spring just a long spring that uh, pulls that pin well, into place. You got pins on the yeah pins, pins on, on the bottom, bottom and, and just you pull it out, whoop. set it down in there, and then the spring holds it back in. Does she have propane? Looks like it's got twenty percent. No shoot, there's a 20, 30, 40. It's on this side of thirty. Okay, that's even so, better. Yeah, that's good because did you pick up that propane tank? I'm pretty sure it's empty. No, nah, it's got a little in it. It's got enough to make it though. Well, that's all easy enough. I was just looking. I was. I guess they painted that bracket John Deere green too. I don't know. Dead, uh, dead or right and fancy. We bought this from, his name was Jim Curtis. He he worked for the sheriff's office here. He had it for years. He <laughs> bought it out in western Oklahoma somewhere. And I think he was the second owner of the tractor. Hmm. 
but he didn't like it anymore because it didn't have a cab on it. And he was getting older, and he didn't like hauling hay out in the wintertime. Yeah. <laughs> he was getting older and colder, yeah. huh? <laughs> so he, he wanted a tractor with a cab on it. So you and your grandpa went, or your grandpa and I went over and picked it up over in Shawnee, really. Huh. Getting older and colder. Yeah. I was trying to figure out what this wire Be careful. was going to. Is it going? Oh, up? yeah, it goes up to the propane solenoid valve. So this blue one here, well, she's going up. up and there's a solenoid up there that's gonna turn on our propane i do believe so that's what that wire is we got good solid core on everything apparently because that's what we got right there on our alternator or are you and just I, wiggling on the shifter oh get her out of neutral or get her in neutral i mean put her apart uh, another thing that, i noticed guys that's the way that came with solid core dang it that your grandpa and i didn't do that <laughs> well it's moisture resistant mm -hmm. so don't worry about that uh right here our speedometer uh tachometer that's the tack cable yeah she don't have a speedo no, just a tack just up there tack, yeah yeah well i kind of just glanced up here oh yeah it is just a big old tack yep. so you got your tack cable too just kind of cool how they designed that to just whoop right out of there makes sense where your distributor sitting dad said he couldn't find any chrome ones but he did find some impact deep wells uh, let's see if this will wiggle down in there it does. there she be oh, as long as we can get that out of there and not be breaking stuff i was kind of mad at dewalt because i bought those sets again mm -hmm. and the uh, ratches ain't made to the same as the first set i had they've yeah they've cut quality go figure Everybody. that's that's why it's the same price as what it was seven years ago uh the heads on them is definitely smaller but actually in this case this may be helping us because mm. I think that's going to wiggle in there. Yeah, I don't. I like that handle on your old Dewalt. I don't know about that one. Yeah, she ain't as good as the old one. They're they're more finicky about hanging up. They're not as fine tooth as the old ones were. Those those that first set I got, you can just barely, and you get a click. This thing, you gotta turn it quite a bit. <laughs> oh boy! You got a cheater pipe? That's what I brought you for, cheater pipe. <laughs> <laughs> that plug been in there a while, but yeah. We could guess by the rusty base on it. What do you think? Uh, just don't break it. I was gonna say I might be able to reposition. Oh that coil's good stuff too. Try tightening her right here. Yeah. Yeah, she's on there, ain't she? Yeah. I want to pull that to show you guys. I also do not want to break it. We don't have no others to put in there, or we would uh, just beat it on the handle some or whatever. Mm. Uh, but we don't have that option. Uh uh. Now I gave it some that time and I did not get it. Damn genius, Dad. <laughs> oh. There it went. Did it? Something did. Something moved. I know. I think she turned yeah. some. Well, oh, she's moving. That sucker, man. I was biting nails over here, butthole puckering, <laughs> watching that. <laughs> I was holding my breath. <laughs> I was like, "We're gonna if we break one, we're gonna soak the rest and head to town to get a set. Do them all. It could probably use it. Oh yeah, yeah. She ain't by hand by any means. Just because it's coming out, don't mean it's gonna go back in, huh? <laughs> yeah, still pretty. Yeah, she's going now. She's going now. That one little, that one little one I did was ornery. Good job, Dad. He got the grace of a gazelle with a cheater pipe. Woo! What kind of gap is that supposed to have? Surely more than that. I have no idea. That ain't hardly got a gap at all. Yeah, she uh, she's been crowded down in there. Hopefully that reseals with that old rusty washer. It'll see. So for years down here, you could not get any service. Somehow dad has cell phone service down here now. He's on the damn Google on his phone. People are spoiled nowadays. They don't we, know. we are spoiled. Yeah, these kids don't know how good they got it. Yep. Uh, check the spark plug gap. The gas engine needs a 25 thousandths gap and the LP needs 15 thousandths. So that explains our little baby gap there. Oh, hey yo. Good hands. Yeah, Spider-Man caught that. That was left-handed too. <laughs> uh, guys, just don't look too close to them threads because they are pretty well rounded. But I can see on the head side, those threads look fine. Uh, we just gotta be real careful with 
when we go to put this back in. Let me get the old boroscoping machine, the handy little camera, and we will have a look-see down in there. This is Bill's favorite tool, Dad. Is it? Bill loves these things. Every time he's like, well, if we, I'm like, well, if we put that bore scope in there. Oh yeah, I forgot we can look in there. He always thinks it's cool. Now they're not expensive and they're pretty dang handy. You hold that side. It's a little bigger than this. I don't think it'd go in the spark plug hole. Is yours for looking through sewage pipes? It is. <laughs> yours could take a turd head on. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what I was poking through last time, but my lens here's plumb covered in gunk. Some type of grease build up. You and Kitty used it last, didn't you? Got her cleaned up. Let's see if we can get her get her brightened up. And we're gonna go down in there. Oh yeah. There. Right. Here's top of the piston. And so I was saying show y'all. Of course we got some coil down in there. That's what you're seeing right there. Whatever was around the plug, which is also why I wanted to clean it out good. Woo, look at that rust at the top yeah. though. But that baby is clean as a whistle. You know why it's rusted at the top? Just moisture, probably. I guess. Over the years. Over the years. I mean, it don't look like that's recent rust. Yeah. It looks like it's been like yeah, that for. It's pretty built up. That's what. That uh, that propane just obviously it burns clean, guys. You don't got the nasty carbon build up. So if you've never synced inside a propane engine. There you go. And do not be surprised if you go to look in one if whatever your spark plug. The gap is set to is really small because apparently I didn't know that was a thing. She could use a set of plugs, uh, but obviously we don't have them. So we're going to clean this up with the wire wheel and go back together. Take her for a ride on the <laughs> wire wheel. A couple, just a quick little spritz on the threads. Not too much. And with any luck, she's going to go back in. Get stuff out of here. I'm going to reroute these hydraulic lines. Yeah, she's going. She feels a little better than what she was coming out, I guess. We're going to go just till we get snug. Only problem is I can't tell if we're actually snug because she's snug the whole way. <clears throat> mm. When it goes, you can tell it's going. It's still got more. It ain't bottomed out. But getting it to go... See what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna try right there. What are you breathing hard for? Woo! I was trying to do that with precision so Robert <laughs> Warner didn't come back from the dead and put a put a boot up my ass for breaking his spark plug. <laughs> Dad, you think the internet be mad? I said Grandpa come back from the dead, put a boot up my ass. Yeah. They, they never got their ass whipped by Bob Warner, have they? <laughs> if they ever got that whipping, they'd be scared to break that spark plug too. Yeah. He, he was up there just with his belt ready. <laughs> be madder than hell. I let that seat get like that. Yeah, that'd be that'd be strikes one, two, and three. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got leads on. We've got our coil hooked up and rigged up. Uh, we showed y'all inside the motor just because. Uh, I think we're kind of to a point where we can try to crank on it and see what happens. Checked oil. We, we check water. Check water. No, oh, yeah. Ver verified it had propane. Where are we checking water at? Right here. Underneath this. Oh, that's the cap itself. The radiator <laughs> behind the propane tank. Uh, I can see it's kind of wet somewhere, yeah. but it ain't to the top. I got a flashlight right here that don't work. That's good. That's why you always bring extras. She feels at an angle. Yeah. Yeah, she needs she needs some water. I didn't bring any. Well, that ain't true. Actually, when we went when I got ready to come out here, I was going through my little lo local grocery, where they actually have these things really cheap. I think they sell them cheap because I'm the only one who buys them. So I got some Fiji. We can we can fine dine this old girl and <laughs> fill her up. <laughs> she ain't ever been treated so special in her life. Put four dollars worth of water in her. Next, we'll be feeding this damn thing filet mignons. Yep. Thought maybe if we'd pour one of two of these in here, it'd let us know how low is she. It always run a little bit low, I think. I can see it holding some right there at the top. Don't y'all worry about my bougie water, guys. Every, every friend, even dad, will tell you 
And they're like, oh, you got water? I hand them one of these. They're like, I don't want that thing, just a normal water. I go, no, make yourself drink all that and drink it fast. And because it's got all the, the stuff in it that's actually good for you, minerals and stuff, every single one of them goes, yeah, I feel good by the end of that night after actually drinking some water that's good for you. I used to spend so much money on beer that's terrible for you. <laughs> it's not it's not hard to justify spending the money on something that actually makes you feel good instead of feel bad. So I don't care what people say about my bougie water. She's about an inch from the top there. I drank a quarter of that one and this one, so however much that adds up to. Knock her dirt chunks out of there. Maybe y'all can see uh, she's got, she's topped off there now. She needs some green stuff in her probably. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know All right, Aaron takes a little floppy. Yeah. I heard, I heard something. Is that a manual valve? Yeah. Huh. Well, when you first pulled it, I heard just a little. Yeah, she's flowing, and I can smell propane. Can you? Mm-hmm. I can, are we about to explode? <laughs> I can smell it pretty good. All right. Get us a battery. Get this baby spinning and winning. Oh, lost our tray. Yeah, we got a tray. I just need my drill bits real quick and a few zip ties. And we're not going to be falling off the board no more. We can go to that line over there and to that brace. Huh? We can insulate it with that if you want. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, that right there is what we're trying to avoid, especially with a battery in there. And that just fell. So what I'm kind of thinking is we loop around that right there which means we need a couple holes over here. Even if we didn't have zip ties, guys, we could definitely find some tie wire around here and make this work. It's getting fancy. Yeah, yeah you are. He's gonna be on here for the next decades. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Now, since this is going to be here for the next decade or two or three, we're going to do it right and make sure the head of the zip tie is on the bottom side. That way the battery don't have to sit on the head of it and hold it up. Everyone thinks I do everything fancy now, Dad, but... Why is that? I don't know. I guess they think I forgot my roots or something. Mm. This is how we had to just do stuff to get by. You want to do better for yourself when people are mad at you for it or something. I don't know. Can't keep everyone on the internet happy. Yeah. How's that? The other cutters may be on the tailgate where I was cutting over there. Oh, yeah, there they are. I left a nice hanger, so if you ever run your finger there, it'll slice you. You're welcome. Before we forget, I pulled this out of there earlier. And there's that 9 16th I had found. All right, let's see how we did here. Oh, man. You sleepy? Yeah, New Year's Eve. Should, shouldn't have stayed up late partying hard. Yeah. Whooping. What partying hard? Was playing board games. Wh whooping butt in trivia. Yep. <laughs> tell, tell, tell him that question. No, you I just. <laughs> Dad's a smart man, all right? But the trivia he knows is just dumb. <laughs> if you play trivia games with him, I hope you're ready to lose. Because the most random questions you could think of, he knows the answer to. Whether it be history randoms whatever it just don't make no sense the stuff he knows good thing we ain't on you ought to go on jeopardy yeah. old redneck boy from the, uh o oklahoma upsetting everyone that fit in there pretty good didn't it look at that <laughs> what is the taj mahal alex i found this laying around back if you want to strap Ooh, that. Woo -hoo. So, yeah yeah you get it over the top of it or something i'm wondering there's something already yeah Buckle her in for safety. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with that. When it stops up there and you force it down there, that makes it pretty tight. Oh, that wasn't the budgie cord we just no, used? No, that can go around the other way. You found another battery tied down. Dang, this battery's about three years old. She's getting she's getting to her lifespan when, when probably. We pick this tractor up. That old man said, whatever you do, don't ever touch the choke on this thing unless you won't be sitting about 30 minutes. <laughs>
He said, just turn the gas on and let it sit. He said, it'll start. Woo! That sun come out. Try her again. Now she's trying. Yo. She's cranking. Yeah, we got a... It's this connection here on the positive that was bad. Turn the gas on. Let's start this bad mamma jamma. I'm all right with hearing it bust off. Oh yeah, we could have checked spark to see if we were sparking. Oh, I, we're, we're about to find out. <laughs> She's sparking. <laughs> She's burning off coil from inside that one cylinder, guaranteed. She's running good, guys. Nice and smooth sounding. Y'all hear that? She is smoking. But we did get some coil down in that one. Yeah, I don't know enough, enough about propane to know what should smoke or shouldn't smoke. I'm just hoping that don't mean that there's a water burning off somewhere. Or it's uh, a little moisture, but not from a gasket is what I'm getting at. It is clearing up some. I just ate a big old bite of that and it was not very good. Is that where our hydraulic fluid goes? Hey, PTO's working. Oh! pulling weeds we're pulling weeds these hydraulic lines have definitely seen better days i brought a flexi funnel i don't know how well that cold hydraulic fluid is going to go through the flexi funnel but i brought it smoke's cleared up that's good you like it yeah she can get her Woo. had to bend our slow sign out the way be able yeah, to get that seat back barely barely touching it barely touching the bottom but like we're smoking over here some a little oil leak right here we're smoking some right in here hey there's a nest built behind the exhaust manifold it on fire? not yet but it may get on fire eventually probably kill that propane she'll kill die propane. yeah guys looking up underneath here i seen some smoke coming from this side so that's what got me over here looking and from up here whatever this is feeding uh whatever this is up here is what's leaking and that's leaking down on our exhaust manifold which has it soaked a little bit with that oil of whatever oil that is and that's where our smoke's coming from but then i noticed uh just looking that all this crap right back here and that is a nest of that stuff huh. which mud i don't dauber. well there's a mud dauber but there's a wad of whatever that stuff is, which probably burns pretty easy. That's I uh, imagine. That's uh Come on, Trivia King. Yeah. <laughs> Burdocks, what we called them. I don't know what they call it. Some people call them thistles. Some people more dirt daubers. She's warm. I'm getting it. That piece of wire or something. I just figured we didn't want to be going. Yep. across the countryside dropping that stuff scolding everywhere a live look at a grass fire we understand that that is in Pottawatomie County all right so I'm gonna clean out what I can clean without burning too many fingertips off oh yeah we do have a little bit of rat poop that's sitting on our intake right there I told you I didn't think this one was gonna fight us none and again that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get down here before too much crap got stolen off of it because this is too good of a tractor to just have sitting around for no reason. Uh, when Grandpa was alive, he did a lot of hay and stuff, and that's what this tractor was used a lot for. Uh, Dad does what he needs here or there. Uh, he just got some donkeys, so he's looking at doing hay for himself, at least. Uh, but yeah, as far as doing it as a business, uh, you know, it ain't continued since Grandpa's passed. Uh, but anyhow this tractor is too good to have sitting down here just wasting away so dang people who's scared to work for a living can come down here and cut battery leads off of it of all dang things and then start to pick whatever else they want all right i think i got it all you okay yeah the light headed after them three big blows but i'm fine <laughs> i just i just flat face it after saying that i'm fine wonder what these lines are for what's right underneath here they may go to the steering jake yeah, i don't know where do they go there's a some type of valve block right up underneath that yeah it may be for the the steering 
hard to tell just looking up there. Can't see enough. I mean, I have the book up there at the house on this. Yeah. Right. The, the manual. All right, we need a funnel. I didn't know how many leaks she was gonna have, so I brought you plenty of that stuff, I think. Figured we'd just stock that up where he was good to go for billing hay. We could do stuff like fix the leaks, you know, but we probably won't do that. Just run it and top her off as you need, you know, if that makes sense. This one should flow better than the Flexi. Probably won't have it there near as long. See if I can make a big old mess. Do I was, what? I was huh. hoping I could just pour from up here and hit that funnel. Can you not? We'll see why not. At least I got <laughs> the camera where we could get the shot as it rolls all over my coveralls. My zipper's bad on you're, my... You're doing that wrong. Need to turn it sideways? Yeah, you need to turn it upside down put that spout at the top. That way it won't lub on you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're the trivia <laughs> genius, Dad. <laughs> No, how, how should you pour a five gallon bucket that ain't trivia genius that's just common sense it'll, it, boy. it'll pour real easy that way and you won't have no love 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 see that look at that Fancy. nice easy pour yeah you let me know if we start making a mess down there yeah you ain't i bought me some new coveralls a couple months ago my zippers blown out of course i've got about, about a decade's worth of work yep. out of this pair so that's good they usually don't last that long anymore Got a decade's worth out of them, so I bought the exact same pair. Get her up to the house, get everything aired up, take it back over to Grandma's, park it in the barn. Yeah. Our hydraulic fluid works our transmission, too? Yes, on this tractor. All right. I'm pretty sure. I may be wrong, but... I well, that's why I went and grabbed the wrong stuff yesterday. For some reason, I was thinking it, and you told me it had whatever. Uh, 303. Right here, this stuff says it, 303. Yeah. John Deere fluid type 303. Five gallons worth. Dad pulled the dipstick and, uh, yep. The little drip you had right on the very end's gone. <laughs> I think she's gonna need a little more. Another five gallons worth. It's up can, on there. Can you tell where it's at? No, the whole thing looks thick. Uh, right above the safe. Oh, we're good then. <laughs> yeah. She may, she may be a little over, but guys, as we go to get this thing in gear and run the hydraulics i bet she drops a little bit yeah, so i bet she does too. not too worried about that slightly over overachievers yeah well you just holding that bolt with your fingertip yeah. there strong man hey, no punk we can ditch this we don't plan on going slow anywhere <laughs> she's gonna be a high speed unit so what was this grandpa's clamp for his umbrella yeah clamp her down in there and run your bolt down yeah what well, used to be over there is that it for was, it was a different umbrella it was on both sides like that oh okay and it folded out like that i think we're gonna try to pop her up out of here can't tell if these tires are buried down in the ground yeah i bet she's a little flat I'm trying to figure out the what does what on the hydraulic no, i don't see no leaks up here I think we should be getting something and we're not, which is a problem. This is going to be hard to drive it with that down in the ground. The plus side, she's running really freaking good. Sounds super happy. Oh, hold up, kill it. Whatever you started to do, it started to pick up and then pop. And now, hydraulically, we're in bad shape. Ugh. Our lineup here just blew. Does it go to the big cylinder? That. Yep. There goes all that oil. <laughs> That's the fresh stuff, too. Looks good. Uh, that goes up to this. Yeah, that's that's coming off our main lift cylinders, Dad. That's that end down there. Yeah, of course, because we were trying to pick up and it started to. Yeah, it just started to pick up. Gather what we can. It was going good, too. Yep. It's going good until it wasn't. Mm hmm. <laughs> If it, if it all went good, we'd just be Hollywood again, huh? He said, hey, he seen it wiggle, and I was like, got excited because I seen it start to pick up some, and then here, pop! wonder if it would pick up enough and we could put something between here and there to hold it, get it, keep it up off the ground where we could at least try to drive it up out of here. Mm -hmm. But, no, that's only going to lose fluid if you're sending fluid to it. So, we're going to lose some when we try to get it picked up. But if we could wedge something in between there, that could at least get us to the top of the hill. She's due for hydraulic hoses all over. That's just going to keep happening. Them ones on the back 
Yeah, it'll look worse than yeah, any of well. them. You say that some of these hoses last forever. To look like that. Right. <laughs> but there's no telling how hell they're 20 years old that I know because they've been on the tractor the 20 years we've had it. So. Yeah, it was probably on there 20 years before that. Yeah, the way they look. Uh, yeah, probably longer. <laughs> we may be, gener be being generous at 40 years. This one's been replaced. That's a different one. Oh, yeah. That matches the bottom one. So maybe those ain't been replaced. These have been replaced. Yeah. So we're just kind of brainstorming some ideas. I think Dad's going to try to pick up on it. Maybe if it does start picking up, hopefully it's got enough umph off the... Well, they're teed together, huh? Crap. It may not even do it, Dad. Why? Because they're teed together. I'm saying we may just be... If it ain't got enough umph to actually pick that up, it's just going to be shooting out over there. If it does pick up, we were thinking maybe I'll try to scoop that table underneath there so then we can kill it and as it leaks back off, then we can figure out how to chain it up or block it up or whatever. Are you going to film this? Yeah. It's leaking, but it's trying to pick up. Uh, it's trying. She's going. We just catch all that we'll put it back in it by golly we got most of it it kept kind of wying off and we were shooting some on top of the bucket but technically we caught that too as you can see it's running out well that's because that's how hydraulics works guys and i used to uh, work on hydraulics at a factory on presses and uh, that's not really necessary. Now we will want that there if there's the seals bypassing for uh, for any reason or the valve is. Uh, but if you get enough fluid on this side, then the other side of your hydraulics is what's gonna hold you. Better than dragging it to the house. What about your rear ones, Dad? And a hammer? Our lever to operate the three-point is uh, hung up for some reason. Now she ain't quite on the ground. And don't forget this thing is down in a divot. So I think we're gonna see if she'll pop up out of here. You're clear. Clear for takeoff. Uh-oh. And the holder in gear. Yeah, kill it and make a game plan. What were you doing? As long as you shoved and held her? Yeah, it would go in gear if I shoved it. Mm. But if I max the clutch, it wouldn't come out. I ain't got no clutch. We might drive it a little bit. It might come loose. Okay. I mean, it might yeah. not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's two options. <laughs> she's gonna or she ain't. You hungry? Yeah. Let's see. Hey, she's running and she drove technically. Yeah. So we can have a victory sandwich. Uh, I thought the back tires were low. You know, I mean, they are, but yeah, they're a little low. Yeah. I thought they were like gonna be low, low. That one ain't too bad. Uh, yeah. I don't know if the camera's going to show y'all how deep that sucker is sitting, but probably six inches down in the ground, I'd say. Front one is uh, flat. This one is. You ain't got Wally out over here, do you? Uh, That's what about? Flat too, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, I can see look over here. Oh, yeah. She's favoring the backside. So I had a stinking suspicion we may be dealing with some flat tires, and I didn't bring a whole lot to help us. Uh, but I did bring the old tire inflator, which will probably be good enough for the front ones. And I also had a stinking suspicion we'd be out here to about lunchtime. So when I stopped at the gas station this morning, I got us some Italian sandwiches. They were ready to go. And as y'all know, this little thing's noisy. So I'm going to just throw her on the front over here. And we're going to see if these things want to take some air. And as they do that, I'm going to take some sandwich. 
Hey, she's got 3.2 PSI. She's going so far. Yeah, she's about 12.5. Yeah, that little thing does work good. Much better, much better than their new ratchets. <laughs> they both took air. Dad, uh, look, Dad found another wad of ants. I oh, know these ones are moving around some. Yeah. Some of them. I did not grab a screwdriver. I got some though on the table. Pull our little inspection cover maybe. So we're wanting to kind of glance at our clutch if possible. Dad don't know if maybe there's a mouse house in there. She may just be hung up. Oh, he found this little cover here on the side. Got two flathead screws. We don't know that that's going to show us the clutch. We're just assuming. Assuming got us this far. Well, the screws weren't tight. Yeah. No chance of stripping, fighting them. That's good. Yeah, oh, I can get it, old man. What's left of a gasket of some sort? Oh, man. Yeah. I don't like the greatest in there. I can see teeth from a flywheel. Uh, oh, that looks like rubber. That may be what was left of that old gasket. I see some rubber chunks in this. I can see teeth up there, so. Is that the clutch? Yeah, I guess. Of some sort. Or the. I can't really see. The, the flywheel has the teeth on the back side, so that may be flywheel off. Teeth? Back this way. Oh. Right there, there's teeth. Oh, yeah, okay. You can't put that big old finger yeah. down in there. <laughs> you ain't fooling nobody. So what's that, the pressure plate? Well, that looks like one piece to me, Dad. Yeah. So I'm saying the flywheel, the flywheel that is sticking all the way up. There is a, there's teeth there. Yeah. There's a gap here, so maybe if we spun that well, that's what I was gonna say. down you, around. Can you move it a little bit with that screwdriver? I, get, I brought a pry bar. You spun it already? Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't bend my good screwdriver now. No, no, not very, it wasn't hard at all. All right, get another thing of that oil. We'll just fill it up. <laughs> hey, yeah. we'll lubricate that clutch. Is it a wet clutch? No, no. I don't. Really, I don't. I don't know, I Dad. Don't I was so either. I was being a smart aleck. So what is it? That that's a spring right there, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, that's different than anything I've ever worked on. So I don't know what I'm looking at. A little cover plate down there. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming out from underneath that cover. Oh, water. Fast like lightning. That That's why the clutch is stuck, right? Full of water? Full of water. Holy pucky. <laughs> you see that cover? I was looking at all that right there. No. Oh. <laughs> I said there's no telling the last time that cover was off of there. Yeah. Look like big old rocker arms is what they look like. Yeah. They're on a pivot. Is it, you want me to go match the clutch pedal? Yeah, I guess. I don't know what you else to do. You want to try to clean some of that trash out of there first where you can see a little bit better? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. I mean, that probably don't need to be in there. <laughs> wow. That's just crud from over the years. Yeah, it's just oil and... Oil, dirt. Dirt. Whatever could ever scoop in there. Oh, watch out. Sorry. Uh, you're all right. There's a dam there. Yeah, good. Get it out of there. Oh, hand's doing pretty Should've good. Should have been a little weep hole right there, of course. It wouldn't have mattered all that dirt in there, huh? Well, now, now we know, like you said, why it could be potentially stuck. Yeah. Oh, that's mouse or something, too. Shoving yeah. that up in there. That ain't good. That's another reason she could be clogged up. Mouse nest. I've seen it coming. We're going to be cleaning for a minute. <laughs> I don't know. We're definitely helping by getting all that yeah. out of there. But yeah, but, I don't know if y'all can see that clutch up in there, but it ain't the, the prettiest looking. Yeah. You stuck? Oh, no. I pulled that muscle a few days ago, and I'm still feeling it. Oh, from the sweet spot. Must be sucked to get over. I know it. Huh? Maybe one day you'll get there. Yeah. Oh. I did that and strained something in my left elbow yesterday. I was wadded oh, up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you kids. If I wouldn't have done 15 years worth of work in the last two years, I wouldn't be feeling like this. <laughs> Let's finish. I think there's more nest crap on this side. I'm going to get out what I can there. Yeah, go ahead. And then, like you said, maybe we can spray some of that lube up in there and try to work the throw-out bearing back and forth. Yeah. You got a bar long enough to reach up in there, or you just want to try with the pedal? Let me Both. go. Will you watch that? Let me go move that pedal, and you see what moves, or see if anything okay. moves. All right. Got that other side cleaned out. Go ahead. Yeah, it's that. Arr. 
upper out and all that's moving just fine. The clutch is inside there though, right? The whole, what we can see in the center that's rusty and crusty. Yeah. Right there, guys, by that fingertip. So that means it's stuck to the flywheel, like you said. Probably. The throwout bearing was moving? Yeah, it's moving pretty good. Didn't sound like it was struggling or anything. Uh, I was doing it by hand. I mean, I could spray some lube on it if you wanted me to, since I'm here. With sniper precision, you did pretty good at staying right where that slides. So, we didn't get a lot of extra on anything else. I don't know what to do besides, like you said, maybe drive on it and hope she pops free. I don't know what else we could do in this situation. I know there's a lot of crap that came out of there. Yeah. There's still a lot on this cover. And y'all didn't even see half of it because we laid on it or smushed it or the camera didn't even pick it up. Don't worry. I got us a workbench set up, Dad. Right. How's surgery going, Pops? Yeah, it's going. We found the back side of the clutch and the splines up there. And they're definitely rusty and dirty. So we sprayed some oil on them. Been spinning it around. Put some of that, I don't know, that high dollar stuff you got. Matches your beanie. The curl oil. Does it? I had that orange can. That's a nice beanie. Got a light built in and everything. Yeah. I'm sure whoever got that for you loved you a lot. Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> I may have got it for him. Yeah. See how good that starter is. Where's how far back? Uh three, four foot. Yeah. Oh, right there is pretty good. So also, I forgot to take a picture before we worked on this thing. But you always want it looking at its worst for the thumbnail usually. So Dad just backed her back to where she was sitting. But also, we were hoping kind of fighting on it. Maybe we could get that clutch to pop free. <laughs> Think we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> uh, it's actually taking the air we're up from about six to seven raymond for about 15 so we're kind of a couple minutes though it won't be bad no it's doing it uh got our picture i usually don't i don't want to stage anything which we didn't stage this obviously i just forgot to take the picture but so threw a couple weeds by it and me and dad took some took a picture trying to figure out which way we're gonna shoot out of here uh, if we get enough air in them tires, we don't want to ruin one of them. Also, Dad had tried to fire it back up, and it was being on, or it didn't fire right back up, so. Oh, you, you had left the propane on? Yeah, see, all the other times when you were killing it, you shut off the propane and killed it. That one, with the, the one time you just killed the key I seen, and you didn't shut the propane. Can you flood it with propane? It's weird to think as it, like, flooded, but what else would you call it? Ain't flooded. Uh maybe you can maybe that's what it is called kick old big log out the way and move our <laughs> pump for our swimming pool yeah. well roy's looking rough ain't she don't worry girl we ain't giving up on you yet that sucker holding air oh hot damn i just figured all of them were going to be flat that's our uh, flattest one. It still feel like it had some air. It may not. She shouldn't be too bad to get rolling then. What a rig. 11.5 PSI. She's chugging away. So as we were waiting on that to air up, uh, Dad had had that little cover off and he was kind of tapping on some stuff in there, hoping a shocker free. Get it a little impact. Uh, Aired up the other side. We got it to 15 and a half. This one's the 16 and a half. She may pull a little to the left. <laughs> She's running again. Just needed to sit a little bit. It is flooded. We had to set the forks down for the pitcher. Now we got to pick them back up. I didn't do near as good that time of catching all what was flying out. It wasn't such a, I don't think dad eased into it either. He kind of just went for it. But it was spraying a little wilder that time.
but it seemed like it went into gear easier that time. <laughs> Did you have a clutch at all? No. It acted like it started easier that time. Yeah. Did you just start in a lower gear? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I was trying to get over here, but I wasn't quick enough. I'd like to tell you pushing the clutch and roll back. Well, she's rolling. Got her back in gear. You got wood right here and right here. Look like he grabbed a little bit faster gear. It just creeping around. That made over here and he was pointing at. I could already see what he was pointing at. Looky here, guys. <laughs> Look at their, uh, look at their cart they built. We used to have a wheelchair here. They were pushing stuff in. And it looks like th this was never here. So that tells you everything you need to know about these people. Look at that fabricating right there. They scabbed together this cart. Uh oh. It's going between gears and I don't hear grinding. I was hoping she was going to get a clutch. Me too. <laughs> they built them a nice little cart. Oh, yeah. They fabricated them a nice one over there. Be a shame if someone was to go cut all the wheels off of it. <laughs> we do the other one and put it back. So if they come back to use it, they go, what the hell? There I go. Y'all know I like to turn everything into a low rider, so we just help those guys out. What are they trying to do with their cable here? I, I thought they had something figured out. Cable to hang them with. They may be thieves, but they ain't fabricators. No. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna drive it up out of here. Clutch is not unstuck. It's kinda unfortunate. Uh, if the clutch don't end up unsticking, I'm assuming you'd have to split the tractor. It's not going to be fun. So we're letting the old tra tractor rest. She did her thing where she's acting flooded again. Uh, I just figured that was the alright time for us to get most of our stuff packed up here anyhow. Now, I was kind of thinking we'd get old Roy today, like I said, so I told Dad we may not be able to get it with the tractor, but I'm wondering if uh, once we get the tractor up there from down here, if we can't just hook onto it with the truck here and drag it. We got him a table ready to go now, Dad. Yeah. He said they're probably going to turn it into a cart. <laughs> Some old Dad's an air tank. Yep, yeah, that's what it was. That, that one was nice because you could shut it on and off. It's still got air in it. This is actually one of them CO2 tanks from uh, for like a soda fountain. So these things can actually hold a whole lot of PSI safely. <laughs> Play Russian roulette here. You don't want to step right there. Fuel pump. One of our old ones. That's off the Datsun too. Filter right there too. Old sling blade. Every time that floor gives out from underneath you, sure feels dangerous. Old bed's cleaned out enough, I reckon. Oh, Roy. I think I painted that on there. How old am I? 32? That was a long time ago. 12, 14, 15 years ago. Yeah. Talk about a heavy one. Yeah. I 
found another chain cleaning out the back. So we got two good chains now. Yeah. Here, right. bumper's crooked. Try this side. <laughs> Who built that bumper? Larry. 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 You'll say that bumper's always had a little wonky on yeah. there. If it won't go on that one, it'll go on this one. That right, old Roy. Dang! Oh, Roy has a really good grill in it. We may need two. She's a little hot. She starts smoking some right there, Dad. Yeah. Hmm. Ten years and put a battery, turned it on, the third crank it started. Hmm. She mad at us. Swapped in a new battery, hoping just giving her a little more cranking would help. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Well, he tried. Only gear he can get it to grab. Not having a clutch is super low. So he's just gonna creep towards the top. He can leave now. We can leave in 10 minutes. We'll still catch him before the before the 90. <laughs> We're gonna let him start creeping up. We're gonna follow him up in the truck and uh, then we can come back down and give our best hoorah at old uh, retrieving old Roy. That spot we're going through right now is really, really soft. Usually we'd take the hump up and around, but I'm gonna go through right here and see how rough this is. It ain't too bad if we go slow. So we'll probably go slow through there if we do get old Roy moving. Now, speaking of going slow, move out the way. <laughs> he ticked him off. He stopped for no reason. <laughs> he looked at me like he's gonna whoop me. <laughs> He's really moving out the way. I was just playing. <laughs> now he's going to realize I was playing and he's going to be ticked off. <laughs> well, a little short drive later. And we've made it up up the hill. And we're to the homestead. So we're going to drop this baby off and then head back for the old Roy. <coughs> what are y'all fussing about? <clears throat> Let her warm up. Seat cold. Dad said if I want to pull old Roy up with the Alice, we could just fire her up and pull it up with that. So that's what we'll do. Oh, better let her warm up some. So at least this one's got a clutch. It's, it's got two. Can't clutch the foot clutch. Yeah, me and Grandpa built that. He cut it and I welded it. Whoever welded that ball on top did a good job for being a 12 year old kid. Where are we? Where are we here? There we are. I get back back over here and I'll show y'all them welds. I remember building that with my grandpa. I was young, 12 to 14. Woo! Look at them dimes I was stacking. Get her chained up. Let's see if old Roy would feel like, feels like steering. Don't forget to put her in neutral. She wants to turn. Put her in neutral, guys. Brakes are locked up. That one's trying to. Oh, she's starting to spin. This one's dragging. Hey, hold on. <laughs> We're gonna drag, drag the old Dewalt all the way to the top. Hubs are free. <laughs> Grab another bite. Front ones are rolling. Uh-oh. He's in a ditch now. Front started turning. Rear ones, not so much. I was gonna say, I think he's about to just go for it. We're hoping dragging it. They'll pop free. I'm drifting. I'm drifting. We're drifting old Roy. Can't believe those suckers won't pop free. Oh. I'm an idiot, guys. I said be sure to put it in neutral and then I put it back up in park. I'm trying to understand that because the reason I did that and I was joking around because we don't have a motor and I was kind of going off the like when you don't have a drive shaft except when you don't have that 
your transmission still in park. <laughs> so that was 100% my fault just then for being an idiot. That's doing some driving up there. Put it in neutral, just playing. Put it back in park. <laughs> oh, how fancy. Window still rolls down. Got a nice fancy door handle right there. Rhino line, dang. If a dash is gonna crack, it's gonna crack. If the rhino line won't hold up, what will? Here we go, pulling the hill. She's pulling just fine. Uh, oh, good. I forgot to get pictures of old Roy also. So that'll be really good too. Tell dad we need to take it back and put it in the same spot. <laughs> I forgot to get a picture. Take it back, dad. <laughs> oh, give it a little, little fight right at the end. A little struggle. Ain't no struggle for the old Alice Chalmers. She's still tugging away. Hell, we got a brake pedal? Yeah, we do. Not the greatest, but uh, yeah, I can feel it slowing down the truck some. I don't know where he's wanting to take me. Right there's fine. I ain't got enough beanie weenies to pull that thing out of there. Man, what did you do? Good thing I pulled that extra slack uh, so we could go to them tow hooks on the front. <laughs> Our Bluetooth setup's still down for the count. I actually stopped by the Harbor Freighter and got us a new one yesterday and uh, forgot it. Make sure she's in neutral. I think I did put it in park, actually. Cut her to the right some. We're trying to roll off the edge of that ramp over there. All right, wing straighten up about right there, looks like. See the old fender rubber with them Humvee 37s? There she be. I've never really paid attention and looked this thing over real well, but guess what? She's actually pretty solid on the cab. How's the underside? Mounts look fine. <laughs> you ain't got nowhere to put soup cans and chicken wire. She's pretty, pretty solid, Dad. This was a three-quarter ton long bed that Larry had cut down right there. And some of y'all are worried about you got to Z cut it, you got to brace it, you got to fish plate it. Uh, he straight cut that. Wielded it with a stick welder. Didn't uh, appear to fish plate or brace nothing. And she's been across some stuff now, huh? And she's been across some stuff. She's been from state to state. I guarantee you this truck's had more frame, what would you call that? Frame stress situations yeah. than any of your lowered ones are ever going to yep. see. <laughs> and people think they're going to just break in half. Yeah, well, that's because they're crappy welders. And oh, they they yeah. break on the outside of the weld and then they go, it was the welder's fault. And, oh no, look at my welds still there. They're crappy welders. Larry is not a crappy welder. Nope, he's old school. And uh, she held up over the years. Dad trying to get me on the in a fight on the internet. <laughs> I'm like, some of these guys just, they're worried about everything. You got a box at all? He's like, that's because they're crappy welders. <laughs> Dad said it, not me, so don't be mad at me. We know who the crappy welder award goes to, whoever built that cart down there. She's tight there. I told you all that cab was pretty solid, but we ain't gonna talk about the condition of these fenders and stuff too much. I'm still impressed with the grill. Grills, hopefully that, uh, whenever we wash it, we don't lose no teeth out of it. Cause uh, we just picked through the salvage yard on that one C10 trying to find grills. They're pretty hard to come by. And that baby's, I mean, she ain't a hundred percent, but she's about 97.5. Did you get yours happy, Dan? Man, oh, cabs has got a little in her right there. Yeah. Sure enough, someone stuffed a rag in there. Nah, it's just coming from the inside. <laughs> oh, yeah, fell down. Yeah. All right. Just... Maybe. Either way, that works. Uh, she looks like a tank, that dad. Roy has a look to her. 
Uh, so I scuffed this thing and I sprayed it in my buddy's driveway. <laughs> I bought it whenever I was in the military, just joined the Air Force. I needed something reliable to drive to Shreveport, Louisiana. <laughs> and this was my idea of what to buy. It was about 18 colors. We scuffed it, sprayed it in the driveway. And I, I headed off to, to my first base I was stationed at. Anyhow, people love this thing, especially when it was in its prime. I couldn't drive anywhere on base without people trying to buy it off me, whatever. Uh, but then it made it to a point where Dad needed a truck. I brought it up to Dad, gave it to him. And then, yeah, he didn't need it. It got parked. I needed a motor. Had a good motor in it. Had a real good motor in it. So I came and robbed the motor out of it. And that's what's in my international still to this day. Because yep. it was just parked down there and I felt bad having a good motor wasting away. But it's all right. Because we're going to put, put some new life into this rig at some point for Dad. And we'll get this thing back on the road. Don't scratch the paint. Don't scratch the paint. So y'all came for a tractor, will it run? And it will run. Uh, being a little ornery with the propane, but more importantly, it's being ornery with the clutch. But we did get her going. So we're going to do a little researching on, on unsticking that. Uh, just to see if there's a few things to try that we didn't try. Uh, that don't involve splitting that sucker in half, hopefully. And then on top of that, boom, baby, we got old Roy up out of there. And uh, I just mentioned I'd like to, you know, put that back on the road. Dad said sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was playing, though. Uh, I've told him I'd like to do a budget LS swap for y'all. It's something I've wanted to do. Me, myself, if I do a really nice personal build like the travel all, everything... I like to take stuff too far versus what it has to be for an actual just let's drive the, the wheels off the thing. So I'd like to do a budget version LS swap on it. And that don't mean a crappy version, but we are going to do it where not everything has to be stainless steel clamp, drill tap this to hold it and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I think that would be a fun one to do it on. I got that six liter. We can figure out how to adapt it to that turbo 400 in it that don't have park anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> we just yanked it clean out of there. Uh, I think that'd be a cool one to do that uh, budget LS swap on. Other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed watching. Uh, it was fun, me and Dad, because of his new job. We don't get to get together as much as we used to. So hopefully y'all enjoyed seeing him on the channel again. Uh, I had fun, and I've been wanting to get that tractor out of there. And even better, we got both of them out yep. of there. So that's good. And hopefully he finds some information for that clutch that kind of helps out there. Uh, so we appreciate y'all watching uh, puddingsfabshop.com for that good quality merchandise. We appreciate all the support there. Y'all helping keep this dream of mine alive. Uh, I thank you guys so much for just coming back watching time and time again where we can come out here and work on stuff or do whatever uh, we want to work on just to make some content for you guys. So we appreciate all the support there. I'm on the Instagrammer. I'm on the I Patreon. I almost forgot what I was on. <laughs> I'm on the Facebooker, and I'm about to be on my way home. I'll see you guys next time, but do not forget, tell them, Dad. Sitting on your ass won't finish your project. Won't get it done. <laughs>